<laughs> to Make Up List Mondays. We are his own. We're a band and a women's ministry out of Nashville, Tennessee. And we're so glad you've joined us today. We are talking about a topic we love, and it is doing small things with great love. We love that topic because it's for what everybody. Does that look like? Everyone. Yeah. So for me people. personally, <laughs> one of the ways that I, I really try to do that is when I go and I play sports or if I'm doing a race of some sort, or if I go to work out, making every single step that I'm taking on a run or every single rep that I'm doing in the gym and putting intention behind it, doing it for love. Mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. this is for you. Jesus, please, this is for you doing it for somebody, for something specific. Mm -hmm. yeah. And many times I feel like I'm waiting for that big something to say yes to. I'm waiting for that. Okay, I'm waiting for that one moment to say yes. But really, we can say yes in the ordinary things, and that becomes extraordinary because we're doing these small things with great love. Yeah. And one example was when I was teaching, um, I taught kindergarten, so shoelaces were untied all the time. <laughs> and they would always come up to me like a million times a day, and I'm like, oh, another shoelace. And it was really, thank goodness the Holy Spirit was uh, encouraging me to use that to do something for the Lord. So it's like, why not you, every time you tie a shoe, to say, I love you, Jesus. So then every time I saw a kid coming at me with a shoelace, it was like an opportunity to say, I love you, Jesus. That was a lot of times a day that yeah. I could say, I love you. Yeah, and we're all called to live this way. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard this way before. It's called the little way. And it's just um, a way that St. Teresa Lisieux, who's these days coming up, October 1st. It's so yeah, get ready and pray to her. She's such an amazing saint, but she had really come up with this way because she felt like she couldn't do great things. She felt like she could only do small things, but she could be faithful in those small things and she could do them with really so much love. And that was a beautiful gift to Jesus. Um, and she said at the very end of her life, I have at last found my vocation and it is love. It's love where it's so simple. So whatever you're doing today, put love into it and it'll yeah. bring you joy. It'll bring you joy. So thanks for joining us again today. Please find us at Theazone.com or send us your selfies or contact us on um, Facebook and Instagram at Theazone or Twitter at Theazone Music. Hope you have a wonderful Yay. day and week. See and you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>